Good morning, everybody. In this week's high school assembly, I want to talk to you about role models. Well, first, let's make sure we all agree about what we're talking about. You may feel you need someone to look up to, who embodies your values, or someone you can believe in. I personally think a role model is someone who can serve as an example to follow. One such person is Malala Yousafzai, the girl who bravely fights for girls' rights to education. Because of her beliefs, she was shot by the Taliban. Miraculously, she survived, and after her recovery, she continued her own education in the UK, gaining entry to Oxford University in 2017. On the other hand, you might choose a celebrity as a suitable role model. For instance, Taylor Swift is frequently mentioned as a role model because of her random acts of thoughtfulness and generosity. And I'm sure you know of a very famous Harry Potter actress and feminist who works with the UN on gender equality. However, does everyone agree about what makes a good role model? I'm sure if I were to ask all of you, would you all say the same thing? From what I've seen, I think you'd all have different opinions on the subject. According to some sociologists, there are four different types of role models young people tend to choose from. Firstly, there is the achiever. This group includes people who have been very effective in their chosen field, such as popular political leaders like Barack Obama and Angela Merkel, or successful artists such as Ed Sheeran and Beyoncé Knowles. On the other hand, this category does not include people who have become super famous, but have somehow damaged their reputations because of inappropriate behaviour or through corruption. Then there are those who triumph in adversity, people who overcome all sorts of barriers, hostility, or personal difficulties to achieve success. Often become very popular role models. For example, Maya Angelou escaped from the abuse and poverty of her childhood to become an inspirational best-selling writer. Nelson Mandela remained strong through 27 years in prison, and eventually became president of South Africa and an international statesman of huge standing. The third role model challenges stereotypes. For instance, towards the end of the 20th century, musicians such as David Bowie and Prince began to question fixed gender roles. These celebrities countered the idea that men always have to be tough and macho. Similarly, in the late 1980s and 1990s, Madonna was a confident and assertive female icon, challenging traditional ideas about female identity. In a very different field, people with major disabilities also fit into this category. Most people know of the world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking, who may be wheelchair-bound, but who has challenged our understanding of the nature of the universe. The final role model embodies the opposite of any of these role models. The rebel is a hero to those who reject conventional social expectations. Such individuals appear to have huge amounts of self-confidence and self-belief. They seem to reject the rules that govern society and instead have their own personal codes of honor. I'm sure you can think of rock and rap musicians, media and sports stars who fall into this category. I'm sure many of you love to have such rebels as role models. To sum up, I think the most important thing about role models is the fact that you have one, somebody you can look up to and believe in. So, what do you think? Which of these four role models do you choose to follow? I'll leave it to you to decide, but do choose someone who you can respect, someone who gives you a set of guiding values. 
Thank you very much for listening, and I hope it's given you plenty to think about. And after this assembly, maybe you'd like to discuss this subject of role models, either in class or amongst your friends. I'm now going to pass you to Mr. Bevan, who will talk to you about the school's sports results.